God, I love that beginning. Yes. It's epic. Anyway, we're doing another main quest here. Uh, hang on. Okay. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I'm still yeah. back in Riverwood in this goddamn little fucking tavern. Talking to Delphine. Bitch, give me some information! I need to know. I need to know the truth. No secrets. No secrets? No secrets. No. Can I handle the truth? No, you can't handle the truth because no one knows the truth. Oh. Exactly my point! I can handle the truth. I swear. I like playing with this knife for some reason. Do you have a fetish for knives? No. Yeah, you no. do! <laughs> you have a fetish for knives. That's not the reason I chose to be in cooking. So I can That's be around. The secondary <laughs> reason. Not the main reason. <laughs> the secondary. Yeah, it is the secondary. That's the whole reason I have a whole knife set at home. Actually, I have two of them. I like knives. I bet that has to make your parents a little paranoid now. No. <laughs> They helped me buy the knives. <laughs> I actually have them in my trunk outside this house right now. One of them said. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with knives in the back? I bring them to work. Is there a to cut stuff back there. Is there a shovel in your trunk? No, but I have rubber gloves, a medical mask, and cleaning supplies. I suppose it doesn't look very, or it looks kind of suspicious when you look at my trunk, but, and I have towels in there too. Hmm. I might need to clean out my trunk. <laughs> you think? But I don't have a shovel, though. I'd say <laughs> if you were pulled over by a cop, and that'd be really suspicious. And were forced to do that, <laughs> they would suspect something I, else is going I would on. Be screwed. But I have a legitimate case because I have the medical mask because I have it. It's required for one of my jobs. And my knife kit's for school, even though I don't have a cooking class this semester. And I have the rubber gloves, because I, uh, what reason did I have for those? Uh -huh. <laughs> I use them at work sometimes. Sometimes! Because I, oh yeah, yeah, I know why I have them. Because I was at school, and I accidentally jammed my ring finger into a chunk of metal, and it dented in my finger and tore all the way up to here. Wait, or up to the first knuckle. No, it healed. But oh, it got sick. infected and stuff, so I had to wear gloves at work. Oh, you didn't chop your finger off? No. Damn. No. no, it just dragged all the way over the top of my finger and tore up to the first knuckle. That's all. And it dented in really bad. Oh, did that? Yeah, I believe I told you that I sliced I think they my said finger I open. fractured it. I think I remember seeing your finger sliced open at some point in time. Yeah, I think it was about, uh, no, it wasn't this weekend, I think it was two weekends ago already. Yeah, I went fishing up north and I sliced my finger open with a goddamn flesh hook. <laughs> yes, you did tell me about that. Alright. Yes. Oh, well, anyway, uh, Back to the video. yeah, this, we're first coming on the video here now. Yeah. Four, four minutes in already, She's holy shit. She's still talking to the people. Actually, uh, the beginning of this, I backtracked a bit. Oh, really? Yeah, I backtracked when I first entered the damn, uh, and... So yeah, you see the achievement pop once again. Oh. I see. I was thinking about editing that out, but then I actually found out this has been a short episode, so I was like, I I better keep that in. <laughs> uh, I'm actually surprised she kept all my stolen stuff as well. <laughs> I was like, she has wow, you, you totally trust me. <laughs> Man, thank you. It was for a good cause. It was uh, your... Personal wealth. Yeah, I steal a sword again. Okay, so I have a stolen statue of Debella, and I can't get rid of it. Yeah, it's a quest item for... I don't know what quest, oh, but I know it's no, a quest item. No, I have one. I have a normal one. I have two of them. One's not stolen, and one's stolen. One is a quest item, the other one's for the Thief Guild quest, which you told us you did not join yet. Oh, that makes sense. I don't remember where I stole it from, because I thought about trying to return it. And I can't remember where I stole it from. I think I stole it from a temple or something. I I I journeyed to this guy's farm. Uh, don't don't do that. I'll slice you. 
I journey to this guy's farm, uh, because, uh, he has, like, a mini side quest. It's in the miscellaneous quest that actually co- like, kind of co-work with, uh, an upcoming quest here, which is find, uh, some guy down the rat way before the Thalmar do. <laughs> before the Thalmar do, the my fella. Thalmar. Talk like some people. Thalmar, dude. I get yelled at for doing that. Oh, yeah, sorry. Dude, watch this cow. I'm sort of from the south, if that counts for anything. You're from Kansas. I Look guess. at that chicken, dude. You see that chicken run by? Yeah. <laughs> watch this cow. As soon as he gets unstuck. Chicken! As soon as he gets unstuck from the fence, watch this guy take off. Because, dude, I just watch him. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm free! <laughs> dude, I was, like, I was looking for him. I was like, where the hell did he... Dude, he just, like, disappears. <laughs> I'm just like, holy shit, man. That Freedom cow. That cow must hit like 88 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, like, he's either in the future or in the past. <laughs> cow has been freed. The world will now. <laughs> <laughs> the Mayans were right. Except they were off a little. <laughs> and the reasons were unclear. Yes. We didn't die because of the asteroids. We died because the cow escaped. <laughs> No, because the cow was freed. <laughs> well, anyway, as you saw before, probably when I first traveled here, I've completed my entire map. I Meaning, I've the whole entire thing. Everything is discovered except for uh, two shrines, which are for danger quests, which I did not want to do because as soon as you find them, you have to automatically do the quest. Oh, which I do not want to do at the moment. I think if I cement these knives in place. And put another set on the other side. You could use it as a grapple hook. No, uh, there was, uh, I read somewhere, I, it was on Yahoo, that somebody, uh, either super glued or duck, uh, gorilla glued an iPhone 5 to, uh, to, uh, like a cement sidewalk. And people <laughs> tried picking it off. I was like, I, would. I was like, oh my god, that's the most funny thing I've heard. That's, that's so brilliant. <laughs> yes. Because everyone, I don't know why anybody wants this goddamn thing. I mean, dude, I didn't, didn't a new you one just, like, it. You didn't sell it after you bought it? <laughs> no, I mean, if you pick it up off the sidewalk, you can sell it. But dude, it's really good. But they don't know that right away. <laughs> it's like that quarter that used to be down by Froggy's. Somebody cemented it to the sidewalk. Oh, yeah. That I was mean, so right. Like, every single time I walked past, I'd try to pick it up because I was like, oh, maybe somebody loosened it or something. Uh, that was so mean for a child. Yeah, but dude, didn't, like, a new iPhone just, like, drop, like, four, five months ago or, like, about a year ago or so? Yeah, the 4S came out, uh, I don't know when, but iPhone 5 just came out, too. It's like, dude, what the hell? I heard I even know. iPhone 5 is not compatible with your old shit. I don't know. They, uh, <laughs> they have a new plug-in on it. Yeah. A new connector thing. Yeah, the audience can't see, but my 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 phone is a Samsung and it's from Virgin Mobile. Yes, I also have. No, I used to have Virgin Mobile. Th this thing is maybe a year old, and I pay thirty five bucks a month, and which is actually for me pretty good. Yeah, I I, I highly enjoy it. It's uh, I get three hundred minutes, unlimited text, and unlimited uh, information, which is yeah. internet, YouTube, Facebook, anything I need. The good stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's very it's very effective. Yes. I got. I like how we're talking about phones now. Yes. I got Cricket now. I had Cricket and I went back to Virgin Mobile and then I went back to Cricket and. Why are you? On, why'd you go back to Cricket? Cause I was looking for a phone that would last me and I don't use a computer very often, so I wanted one that could do fast internet things. Th this this um. And this is faster th than my laptop right now. Mine is fast on uh stuff except once in a while you get the occasional. Signal loss. Yeah. That doesn't bug me. I don't know. Ugh. It doesn't bug me very much either, because, to be honest, I don't do a whole lot of talking on my phone, so I don't have to worry about the signal too much. But, I don't know. I find most of the signals for the wireless companies are pretty much the same around here. Yeah. None of them are really better or there, worse. There, there's a fucking tricky one outside town, about two miles outside. Uh, my phone picks it up, but it's not, not the phone signal. Hmm. Like, it'll say it have service, but when you try, like, calling someone or texting yeah. someone, there's no service for it. Huh. So basically, it's, uh, 
a fake one. <laughs> it's like, God damn it, Ashley. You freak me. Yeah, right here, I'm just picking up a quest from this little guy who owes money. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'll help you pay off your debt. I'll kill every fucking person. <laughs> Basically what I did there. Kill lots, lots of people. Yeah, th this is, uh, this was the quest you were talking about before here. Yes. Where, where you had to sneak something. Sneak something on somebody, yeah. Yeah, I failed at it. You know, you could just reload and save. I could have, but you didn't do it. No. I was, I just th thought I wasn't gonna make it into that thing, cause like, I I haven't gotten the achievement for pickpocketing like 50 people or something like yeah. that. That achievement, you gotta pickpocket 50 people, and you have to pick lock 50 locks. See, I've had the locks done, but I haven't pickpocketed anybody really, because I always get caught. I always get caught. <laughs> I always get caught pickpocketing people, so I never succeed at it. So I just don't do it at all. I should the start doing it. The easiest way, if you're starting with pickpocketing, is do it while people are sleeping. See, but uh, as, as you grow, yeah, and you level up, you can use your uh, your perk yeah. and upgrade your perks and pickpocket. It's really funny because I've seen videos where people pickpocket the clothes off of the people. Yeah, you can do that though. It's hilarious. You can do that on your highest setting of pickpocket. It's hilarious. Out. Oh. Yeah, I think that's right. I don't know. Most of the places where I try pickpocketing now, where the people are asleep, it says that they've already caught me. Which yeah. Is really annoying. Anyway, this this is uh this is basically two question one here, because uh. This is how you gain entrance into the Thieves Guild, and this is also how you're supposed to find this little bastard you're supposed to find down on the rat ways. You have to do this this one main quest, and you'll see here in a second, I was like, okay, I'm waiting for it to pop, but then I was like, oh yeah, that that's underneath a different quest name. So I was like, I remembered how, it's just like, I go over here, it's like, okay, just wait for it, wait for it. Okay. You just start breaking in here. <laughs> I think I did this successfully, but like when I was trying to put the ring on the person, that's when I got caught. Yeah, that's where I got caught for the first time. Then I had to go back and redo it. I'm gonna have to relabel this to include this quest. Yeah. I like lock picking. It's fun. Yeah, when you have the unbreakable lockpick. <laughs> yeah, just go so behind this really guy at... and you put some what? you put some ring on him. That is so much easier. Like when I tried to do it, he was standing Ow. in the crowd. Yeah, he usually sits there. What? Yeah, that's where the spot he usually sits. Oh. Yeah, the guy that I was supposed to put it on, he was standing like in the middle of the crowd over there. That's probably why I can do it very successfully. Yeah, he, he usually sits down on that box. Oh, that would have been easier. <laughs> Sorry, my cat did that. Uh, but I, I just like how he's holding that potion like he's gonna drink it. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. See, I don't have to worry about picking too many locks now because I picked up all the keys off dead bodies. And I can just enter people's houses whenever I want now. Well, there is a perk in lock picking. Yes. If you pick pick a pick a lock or a yeah. door or something like that, you instantly gain the key. I have that now. I recently got that. Recently? Recently. 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 How sad. Well, I was focusing on other perks at the time. But yeah, yes, my lock picking. Uh, was starting really nice. care of business, I think it was. Yeah, that's the that's where you need to get into the thieves guild. Can't you get married? You get married in this town, right? Yeah. Uh. Did you kill a priest? No, no, I didn't kill the priest. Yet. I uh. No, I was getting married in this town, and a whole bunch of guards came in during my wedding, cause it was during the time that I'm still wanted there for what did I say forty two thousand bounty, <laughs> so. Like, my wedding went through, but I was also killing people in the process of the wedding. <laughs> it was very exciting. Okay, honey, I need you to stand back for a second. I need to kill... Drink! Okay, yeah. well, please continue. Basically, that's basically how it went down. 
uh, for my wedding robes, I uh, I used some of the wedding robes I got later on in one of the quests that I stole off a lady. Probably I, from uh, the Dark Brotherhood quest where you have to kill the the yeah. Empire's son, no, uh, his cousin. Yeah. And uh, somebody from the Stormcloak Rebellion. Yeah, it was in. Uh, hey, hey, watch this! Watch this! I was like, you go that way. Nope, I'm going under here. And <laughs> it's an expert lock. I think I break three, no, maybe two pick locks. I love picking locks. Uh, that, that's two. Picking locks is fun. I, I wanted to go back to the old uh, Oblivion way. Uh, I broke three because for I this started in uh, Fallout Three. This kind of pick locking. Yeah. I cannot understand how to do it. Really? Yeah, it took me about halfway through uh, through Fallout 3 to actually fully understand how to fucking do it. Oh. Because, oh. dude, in Oblivion, oh, so easy. How do you do it in Oblivion? Uh, basically, there's, like, uh, tumblers that come down, and you show your pick lock hole into the side, and you have to, you have to push them up with your pick lock, and you have to press A, and you make them lock there. Oh. But if you don't do it right, um, your pick lock will break. Oh. I find it so much easier. Oh, I caught on to this pretty quick. Then again, I haven't played any other games. I can let you. I, I can loan you my Oblivion as the game of the year, so it has every DLC on it. Oh. I could also give you my uh, uh, Vegas. Oh, I have that. But you don't have all the DLCs. No, I don't have all the DLCs. Mine does. I need to start Did, getting somewhere in the story in that game. Are you doing, um, what's that one uh, achievement? Uh, I think it's hardcore. Where you have to eat, sleep, drink, or else you'll die. I drank once. I don't think I've slept. And I don't think I've eaten. Yet. Yeah, but did you accept that when you left his house? I don't know. Maybe. Because you might have to redo that entire thing. I might have done it. I don't know. Because uh, when I did I'm that... I'm very far in it. Oh, man, that, th that doing that is such a bitch without the DLC. Why? Because if you get... Uh, I think it's the Merc pack. Uh, you get a special, like... Uh, Vault 13 container. You just carry it on with you. It takes care of your thirst. Like, like every, like, in-game, like, every five minutes, it'll pop up in the top left-hand corner. Uh, you took a drink from your canteen. Oh. I don't know. I got the drink done pretty easy, because we had, like, fix these wells and stuff. Because there's, oh, like, just like a monsters attacking them. And yeah, but as soon as you get down out in the wasteland, and you have to discover lots of shit and do quests, you start forgetting a lot about that. Oh. Oh. Anyway, I'm in the rat way here, taking care of uh, Dalmore. Ooh, in the back, in the spine. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. The uh, guys underneath are like, who did that? Who did that? Who is there? Okay, is there a secret uh, door down there somewhere? Not leading into the Thieves Guild, but where some guy hides? Yeah, I'm, I'm in there at the moment. Yeah, this is the underneath the rat way kind of like in the tunnel yeah there. but there's like a door that um oh fire there's a door with the little slidey hole so that they can look out of it yeah you'll there's see one guy that hides in there yeah that's the guy I'm looking for yeah I yeah. tried to kill him a whole bunch of times cause I didn't I hadn't started the quest but I was exploring and I found him he kept shooting arrows into there and shooting fire into there and he didn't die ever well he he's important to the story quest I thought he was a bad guy. Damn, <laughs> That's basically what I was doing. Trying to kill him. Gotta get some energy pumping. <laughs> I know how to get some energy pumping. Stop playing with my knife. <sighs> it's fun. I like playing with knives. I might go out to my car and get the knife thing. I have a pocket sharpener. I could try to sharpen your knife. Why would you do such a thing? Sharpeners are good knives. I don't use that for anything. You can still sharpen it. I like waste. sharpening knives. <laughs> Go sharp your own knife. <laughs> They're all sharpened already. Do it again. 
I don't Make want them to super wear them sharp out. so they can slice through each other. Oh, they are super sharp right now. Yeah, I'm looking for my arrow I shot before that hit the wall and noticed that. Boop. Yeah, <laughs> I just like one instantly kills them. It's like, okay. Yeah, I'm still looking for my arrow I shot before. <laughs> Bounced off the fucking wall. And in the boop. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wish Skyrim was a two player. Like two player over Xbox Live. That'd be kind of fun. That'd be interesting. Yeah. But then again, uh, like the sharing. Elder Scrolls Online is coming out soon. Yeah. Hopefully. I, isn't, isn't that only on the computer, though? Yes. Oh. I can't play games on my computer. That's disappointing. That's sad. I, All because uh, I didn't back up the Windows thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one, one thing I need to ask ask you to get, huh. I believe it's coming out at the end of this year, is the new Sim City. I've never played Sim City except on the Game Boy Color. Uh, Game Boy Color? Yeah, there's Sim City for it. I've never or heard maybe, of that. Maybe it's Game Boy Advance. One of the two. Uh, there's one for the DS. No, there is. it's an earlier one. I got it on the emulator on my phone. Well, dude, uh, the one, uh, the upcoming one, dude, yeah. it has multiplayer. Really? Major multiplayer. Cool. Like, dude, this is good. Like, dude, if me and you were, like, playing together, we both of us could build a city together. And kill everybody in it. Yeah. <laughs> if we really wanted to. That would be amazing. Oh, there's, you read Game Informer, right? Not anymore. No. I used to when I got it. Oh. Well, they have most of the articles online for free. Which kind of upset me when I realized that, and I realized I was paying $15 for free, but I still like it in the magazine. But, um... Alright, all right, hang on. In, in this chest that I'm currently picklocking is the dude's bow, which I stopped before to ask about, and you will show me, uh, actually go back and give him his bow, and I think he can give you, like, maybe some, like, pearls and sapphires and crap oh, like that. Oh, you supposed to give that back to him? Yeah. Oh. Why, what'd you do, kill him? No, no. Oh, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, but I still have the bow. Yeah, dude, you give <laughs> it back to him. I I couldn't figure out who to give it to, because it says I can't get rid of it. I don't know. Yeah, you just, you just go back to that farm I first visited. Yeah, you just give it back to him. Oh. I should do that. All right, you were saying? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking uh, about video games. Yes, here. yes. Uh, I think it's Unreal Engine three that they've made now for the next gen stuff. Um, they're making a game for it. I think it's the first game that they're making for it. Where? Okay. All right. Fixed. Yes, fixed. Well, yeah. this game I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fort building game where you have to. It's going to be multiplayer, but it's only on the computer. And you're in this big area, and you have to collect supplies. Like, each person can have their own role if they want to, or everybody can have the same role. Uh, like, there's a guy that builds your fort, and then there's enemies, but you can also be a person that attacks people, uh, attacks the enemies and stuff, and it looks really fun. And it's, like, a, a lot more complex version of Minecraft, I guess. Sounds more like or, a power defend game. It sort of is, but uh, it's first person, I believe. I don't know. It seems really fun. <laughs> it seems really fun. Yeah. You could probably find the article for it. On, somewhere online. Yeah. Somewhere. I want to say it's called, like, Fort Wars or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, the reason I'm stopping here uh, for a second is because I'm hearing a crazy lady just keep talking to herself. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, okay, lady, lady, please, she's trying to scare me. See, I tried to kill him through that hole. Did you know that the arrows will get stuck in that hole? If you try to shoot through it, uh, it does not work very well. He is protected very well. But yeah, he's bad at mouth, huh? Somehow. <laughs> I like... I like when you finally get him to open the door, he's like, hang on one second. And, like, two minutes later, after all his locks are undone on the door, he's like, all right. Yeah. you like, no. All the locks. Yeah, you'll see it in a second here. Yep, right here. All right. All right. 
All right, it's it's we're, we're starting at 25 here. About 25 and a half. Just kind of look around. Well, cause I'm hearing that crazy lady again. Yeah. Oh, motherfucker! <laughs> oh, kitty, did kitty paw you or like? No, you bit me. What? Oh, mother! Still going after locks. Oh. All right, so it took about 30 seconds for him. Yeah, look yeah. at all those locks. Wow. Oh, son of a bitch, man! I'm gonna have to. No treats for you. Ah. Oh. Why did it bite you? Uh, probably because I'm petting him too much and he doesn't like it anymore. Oh. Oh, man, dude. It fucking hurts. <laughs> man, you don't want to bite like the other one. He bites playfully, at least. <laughs> fucking mean it, asshole. Where did the other one go? I think he went upstairs. Not entirely sure. <laughs> Look out behind you, has a knife! <laughs> I'll have the knife missing off of here. The desk. <laughs> That's ninja. Uh, it wouldn't be the first time he's attacked me from behind. Uh, Don't want to talk about that. Dead. <laughs> well, we're coming to a close on this episode. I think this is actually 28 minutes long. Not sure. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not very clear on the times anymore. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm just short, just short of 28. Just fake slapped myself. Uh, any last words from Dr. Wawu? Um, if you're yawning while you're driving, slapping yourself in the face really hard is pretty effective at making you stop yawning. Also make you go off the street or road or highway, whatever you're driving. Don't um, worry. There's two lanes once in a while. You just go like, you know. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's uh, pretty interesting. Yeah. Well. Have fun and kill lots of people. Yes. Bye.